Well, another tweet from the president-elect is raising a lot of eyebrows this week. Donald Trump condemning burning of the American flag, a constitutionally protected act under the First Amendment. The president-elect writes, quote, Nobody should be allowed to burn the American flag. If they do, there must be consequences, perhaps loss of citizenship or a year in jail. Let's get some reaction from our legal panel today. Lise Wheel, a Fox News legal analyst, and Bob Bianchi, criminal defense attorney, former head county prosecutor and trial attorney. So the constitutionality question, that's been settled, right, by the Supreme Court, Bob? This uh, issue has been settled twice by the Supreme Court. Our most sacred right in the Constitution, hence the First Amendment, is the freedom of speech. And in fact, Justin Antonin Scalia, one of the most conservative justices ever known to American jurisprudence, had indicated, while personally he's against uh, the burning of the flag, which we can all understand personally, constitutionally he felt in one of the decisions that he wrote, that is a protected First Amendment right. And actually, Lise had a very interesting quote um, that we had yeah. discussed that Justice Scalia wrote in that decision that I think is really L Let me worthy. give you a quote. This is from Antonin Scalia, the late Antonin Scalia. If it were up to me, I would put in jail every sandal-wearing, scruffy-bearded weirdo who burns the American flag, Scalia said in 2015 in Philadelphia. But I am not king. So if you had a litmus test for picking a, 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 a Supreme Court justice, Scalia would not have made it on the bench on this one issue. He said it is protected speech, symbolic protected speech, to desecrate the flag, even though he personally did not want to see that happen. He believed that desecrating the American flag is protected by the First Amendment. So when, when, the, when the president-elect says you ought to be punished if you burn the flag, um, does, uh, does that suggest he's going to try to put people on the court who agree with him? Well, you see, that's a great question, John, and we had just been talking right. about this. We have really taken a very strange turn politically with the appointment of our Supreme Court justices. We never wanted a litmus test. We never wanted their personal opinions. What we wanted to do is make sure they had competence and that when they got into that, they would judge the Constitution just like Justice Scalia did, mm -hmm. put their personal preferences and political preferences aside and do it based upon what the constitutional principles at play are. Now, this First Amendment issue that we're talking about, that's been decided from the KKK right. and their right to be able to protest. Even though we the hate most, it. Yeah, the most violent. Hateful speech. Exactly, abhorrent speech. That's what the First Amendment is there to protect. Not, you know, little puppies and kittens out there that we all love. It's about the abhorrent speech. That's what it's there to, that's, you know, the American way is to protect the most abhorrent evil speech, symbolic speech, is burning the flag, even and, though we all hate it. And appointing judges, John, as you get to get back to the question you asked before, that have ideological and political preferences in order to get them through the confirmation process is going to turn our criminal justice system upside down and very dangerous. What about one of the suggested punishments, losing one's citizenship for burning the flag? Is but that's that still, possible? That still is a punishment. Now, the only way this could change is if, Cong if it goes to Congress and Congress makes a, makes a constitutional um, uh, amendment to the First Amendment. Um, that could happen. In 2006, it got very close. By one vote, it failed. Uh, but then it would still probably go to court in a court case, and then you'd still be with the Supreme Court uh, seeing whether or not that change to the First Amendment was constitutional. Mm. It we, still would end up in the Supreme Court. We can hate burning the flag, but here's the point, and I do as well. But if we, we start do. chilling the speech of individuals anywhere, we have a problem with worried about chill speech everywhere. So what happens next? What if you go to a rally? Really what burning the flag is, is a symbol. It's a symbol of protest speech. against the government. What if you're a political candidate and you have a rally and you start saying the government is no good, the government is bad, the elected officials are bad. Do we start punishing that conduct as well? This is a bad uh, right. precedent. Slippery slope. Slippery slope. We're, we're gonna slippery have slope to, argument. We're going to have to leave it there. Uh, Bob Bianchi. So much to talk about. Yeah, it's fascinating. Lease wheel. Thank you both. You got it. Thank you, Jenna.